Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. If you are in the chat, make sure you say hi. What's up, what's up? All right. Um, this is a little bit earlier timing than what I usually do these unboxings because I usually have time more in the evenings and stuff. And it's actually 419 on the East Coast right now in the afternoon. Uh, hello, Super Saiyan, God, Super Saiyan, Gogeta, Haley Whalen, Josh, TKB, Wolfman, uh, Amir the Legend, JD Hamilton, Jason DiCarlo, Anaf Kazi, uh, welcome, welcome, and Eid Mubarak. Yes, Eid Mubarak to everybody uh, celebrating today. Um, it is a joyous holiday today. Edward Sanchez Productions, hello. What's up, J Cards and Collectibles? Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so it's Eid today. Hey, Gerardo, how you doing? Uh, it says you can see all dressed up for the occasion. Uh, you prayed nice. Uh, so yeah, we actually um, did our prayer at, at home today uh, just because, you know, COVID stuff, everything. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, had grandparents over, just kind of... Um, you know, enjoying, uh, enjoying our time. And so what I'm going to be doing today, we're going to be doing an unboxing video and hanging out. So let me show you what we're unboxing today. Check this out. You see this right here, folks? This is the latest, uh, set of Japanese Pokemon cards right here. We have the Silver Lance and Jet Black Poltergeist boxes right here featuring Calyrex. Uh, now, I'll be honest, I have not played the DLC, so I know that's Calyrex, but what's that Pokemon named? Or, like, the combined form or whatever? I don't know the English names of this version of Calyrex with that other Pokemon or whatever. What Do you guys know? Um, uh, what's up? Noah Torbert, Travis Clark, Alexis Cowboy, Tyler Connolly. Uh, Haley says, speaking of Pokemon, I recently got a score bunny from Build-A-Bear. Nice! I saw that. I saw that they released that. That's really cool. Um, so, also, while, while y'all are talking in there, I got this recently, which I did a video of, uh, I haven't posted it yet, uh, I haven't posted this video yet, but this, keep an eye out for it on the channel. Um, what's up, Tented Shows? Kyle, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, so, check this out. Uh, it is a Pokeball. But not just any Pokeball. Look at this. Look. When you put your hand closer to it, it glows. Whoa! Check that out. And look, let's see. I'm going to try and catch a Pokemon. Let's see if I'm successful or not. Uh-huh. Yay! Success! Green! It randomly goes green or red. So it looks like I caught a Pokemon right there. Hopefully that's good vibes for this unboxing. Um, this is super, super cool. Just watching a video with Luke. Hi, Luke. What's up? Um, so yeah, I did a full review of this. Uh, this will be out on the channel soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and I have these. Also, I want to make an announcement to everyone here. This is kind of like an early announcement. I'm going to make a, a video on my channel talking about it a bit more when I hit 200,000 subscribers, you know, in the next couple weeks, months, uh, I'm at like 195,000, I think, something like that. So it's getting close. But to all of you that watch the live streams, I want to give you all uh, the early news that I finally have started a Discord channel, okay? So I have a Discord server where I will be able to chat with all of you and hang out, and I, will, I have my video schedule posted up there, so you all will be the first to know what videos are in the works, uh, when they're coming, uh, and we'll send little announcements. There's little channels to talk about Power Rangers or Pentatonics or gaming, all that stuff. So if you're interested in joining the Discord server, all you have to do, very easy, go to theworldofha.com. Theworldofha.com, that's it. That, that directs you to the Discord server where you can join. Uh, read the rules, check it out. Uh, and I'd love to talk to all of you. And that way you can like share your thoughts. I want to use the Discord server more. So like in the future, if I ever want to do like, 
you know, maybe some gaming videos. I might hop in the Discord server and add some of you and play some games on stream or take your suggestions for certain videos, might have polls up there, things like that. I want to make it very interactive because YouTube is great and I love these live streams. But sometimes, as you can see, I hadn't uploaded a video on my channel in like a month. I did some live streams, but I just get busy. And I want to still find a way to keep connected with all of you and let you all know what's going on uh, with the channel and my life and all that stuff as well. So that seems to be the easiest way for me to do that and to, to get to know you all a bit more. So check that out. Um, I just got a notification that that Inky Junior 956 just joined the server. So looks like some people are joining already. So that's the world of ha.com. That takes you to the Discord server, the world of ha.com. Um, Eve Mobata, Zeneda, thank you. Um, same to you. All right. Well, with that being said, let's jump into the Pokemon unboxing. Um, all right. So let me let me grab something real quick. Um, for those that may have missed a previous unboxing that I did, uh, the set before this has some of the uh, has like the Galarian birds, uh, which I got Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos. Uh, Galarian Moltres, this Rainbow Rare right here. Uh, I got this version of, of the Galarian Moltres, which is awesome. Galarian, uh, you know, Slow King. There's a few other cards right there, which looked pretty cool. Um, but this is the next set right here. Uh, Super Heck Floris, I joined. Awesome. Sweet. I will, I'll see you there. So this is the new set. Now you guys tell me which one should I open first? We have, uh, the, uh, Silver Lance set right here. And uh, these are some of the cards featured in there. Ooh, Porygon, Teddy Ursa. There's a few. Interesting, interesting. Zarud's in here. Okay. And then we have Jet Black Poltergeist. See some cast form. Galarian Weezing. Gengar. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right. I got one vo vote from Jimmy about opening the silver box. So let me know which one I should open up first. Open Jet Black first. All right, Gabriel says this one. So one vote each. Uh, Red Cat Blue Hat says the, the black one first. Silver. All right, it's tied up. Black, silver. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Literally, it's it's completely tied up right now. Um, all right, I think Red Cat Blue Hat already said black. So, um, you know what? Maybe I should just flip a coin. Why don't we, why don't we do that? Um... I'll grab one of the coins that I got recently. Oh, okay, how about this? Here's this this coin right here. Uh, these Pokemon are very cute, so I feel like I associate this with like the silver side, and then the black part is the black, right? So like, let's just flip it and see which one it lands on. Boom, so it looks like Jet Black Poltergeist is coming up first. Wow, I missed the Power Rangers days. Um, in what way? Are you are you just saying, like, on my channel, you miss me doing Power Rangers content? Because I posted a Power Rangers video yesterday, um, and I have more Power Rangers videos on the way. Uh, live streams generally tend to be something else, uh, because I save the Power Rangers videos for, like, full reviews. Um, but yeah, so anyways, for people just joining, one, one other quick reminder. I started a Discord server uh, where I'll be able to talk to you all you know, let you all know what videos are coming up next, all that kind of stuff, just go to theworldofha.com. What about Amiibo? I have Amiibo videos out there too. So all the questions you guys are asking, what, when is when is the Amiibo videos coming? When's the Power Ranger stuff coming? All that stuff. If you want to know when all that's coming, I, will, I have a video schedule that I will keep updated on the Discord server. So theworldofha.com. Uh, if you want to talk about Fan First Friday, uh, the event happening tomorrow and all the announcements, we're going to talk about it on Discord. Uh, so check that out. So theworldofha.com, and it's right there. Um, I don't have any commands like that set up, Red Cat Blue Hat. That's a good idea, though. I have to. I don't know how to do that with YouTube, but I can look into that. Um, all right, you know what? Let's, let's just jump into this box. So let me grab my unboxing knife. So yeah, theworldofha.com takes you directly to the Discord server invite. 
when was my first experience with Pokemon, Gabriel? Uh, my first experience with Pokemon, Pokemon was actually like my first ever video game. Uh, I got two, I got the Game Boy Color and I had two video games that I got. I got Frogger and I got uh, Pokemon Blue version. Uh, so, uh, that's, that was my first ever experience, Pokemon Blue version. Uh, one, my, really that and Frogger were my first ever <laughs> video game. So, Pokemon is quite important to me, for sure. Do I go on Twitch? I do not. I've thought about it, to be honest. Like, I watch stuff on Twitch, but I just feel like I'd rather have all of my content in one place. You know, like, I'd rather have all my videos, live streams, it's all just in one place. That way, if you all subscribe, you get you get it all, you know, rather than have to juggle between more than one type of thing. I, I've really thought about Twitch because I think there's some advantages to Twitch with live streams. It's a lot of fun, but it's just a lot to manage, and I just, I rather, you know, would, uh, would just focus on, on one thing. So all my live streams are here on YouTube. All right, so here are the packs right here which look really, really cool. All right, so these are the, the amount of cards in each rarity, it seems, that are there. I forget how many, how does this work? How many cards are in each booster pack? So are there, I think there's five cards in each pack and I wanna say there's 30 packs in a box, I think is what that means. Uh, I forget the card trick. I think, I wanna say it's one card to the front. Do you guys know for the, okay, a couple questions for everyone in the chat. Do you guys know the card trick for the Japanese cards? And also, do you know the English names of these Pokemon? I know that's Calyrex, but like the the horse Pokemon, like that combo. Do you know the English name of this this form, both of these forms? Because um, that I'm a little behind on. Uh, Muhammad Abid Eid Mubarak, thank you. And same to you. Do I import the trading cards from Japan? Yes, I most of the Japanese cards I buy is from the website uh, Plaza Japan. Um, so, you know, I, I've also ordered from a site called Mecha Japan before, M more Digimon stuff from there. Um, and I am failing at doing this right now. Wow, what am I doing? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Plaza Japan is the main, main thing that I do. I, I think it's one card to the front, I think. We're just gonna try that and see how that goes. Um, Spectrier and Glacier? Is that true? That doesn't seem, really Glacier and Spectrier? I have not even heard those names. Um, okay, cool, thank you. Um, Spectrier and Glacier. Hmm, all right, interesting names, interesting names. Alexis, how's your day going so far? How's the baby? Doing well, thank you. Um, he's upstairs with my parents right now. What's up, Niall? How's it going? Ethan Mubarak, psycho. The family is doing well. Um, just uh, I just dropped off my grandparents. They were here for lunch. Um, and uh, yeah, just enjoying. Oh, wow. Check that out. First booster packs. Booster packs. Booster pack right there. We got a VMAX of, what is it? Is this, is this Spectrier, I'm guessing? I'm guessing because that Glacier, probably like Glaciers. So I'm guessing this is Spectrier. Um, look at that VMAX. First pack magic right there. Check that out. That is awesome. All right, let me grab my sleeves. Boom, nice. That is super, super cool. Um, but yeah, we actually, um, you know, we... we uh, um, I got Idris, um, we got him some, some toys for Eid, and we got him, like, this, uh, little game controller thing from Fisher-Price, as well as, like, a, a little Game Boy type thing from Fisher-Price as well. Uh, he doesn't seem to really be too interested in the Game Boy, but he's liking the controller, uh, so that, uh, that's pretty fun. Spectrier is a ghost horse, while Glacier is ice horse. Nice. All right, cool. Well, there you go. First pack magic right there. Have I ever watched the anime for Pokemon? Oh yeah, I've, I watched it for many years. And then after that, it was kind of like off and on here and there. Uh, I've watched some of Pokemon Journeys as well. Um, Niall says I'm doing very well, thank you. On Tuesday, I got my first COVID-19 vaccine. Nice, my arm is feeling a little tender, but I'm still feeling more phenomenal. 
that's awesome. Congrats on getting the 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 vaccine. Um, I, I hope all of you, if you get the opportunity, that you do so as well. Um, yeah. Tyler Connolly, uh, if you want to know the latest on my video schedule, you can check out my Discord at theworldofha.com uh, to answer the, the Lego question. As far as Super Mario Party, there is no sequel announced uh, for Switch right now. There is a, a, an update that was given to the first game. Uh, if they make a sequel, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Okay. Talon, I am doing well, thank you. Um, in reference to your announcement tweet, will a player four be added? Um, so I know what you mean. You're asking if if we'll have another baby or something, but are you... So one, there's no announcement like that happening anytime soon. I, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's what you're asking, like if I was teasing that or something, because I'm not. Um... But yeah, maybe one day. I don't know. Right now, we're just kind of focused on on the one that we have right now. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I just, I wasn't happy. I'll be honest, like, I guess I should have expected it knowing that it was unofficial right the the ace toys figures i should have i should have expected that um i just i don't know i think i think part of me like i pre-ordered them months months in advance and paid them off and stuff so i couldn't get the the refund um and then they announced the official ones from three zero and these ones sucked so it just kind of i was not happy Oh, we got um, a V card of one of the those those Pokemon that you can combine in different forms. I don't remember what the name of this one is. Is it like Draco Vish or something? Um, I know there's a Draco Zolt and there's some other ones, but okay, that's interesting. How do I feel about the Pokemon cards being banned from stores like Walmart and Target? So is Walmart confirmed? I know I saw a little bit about that. I know Target's confirmed that they're not selling in store. I wasn't sure if Walmart was confirmed, but either way, it's really frustrating because, you know, I don't really go out to many stores right now. Um, Target's really the main one I go to. Uh, and so my Walmart stopped carrying Pokemon cards a long time ago. Um, so that Walmart was never an option for me for a while. Um, Target was, you know, a good one and then sometimes GameStop. Uh, but that's, that's it, man. Like, otherwise I can't buy Pokemon cards in person, you know, like there's not really a good other place to do it, which kind of sucks. So, um, it, it's, it's a bummer, you know, it, it really is. I, you're stuck ordering online, um, and you got to fight all the bots and stuff too, all the scalpers. It's just, it's no fun. It's no fun. Um, when did I first become a fan of Digimon? Uh, from the beginning, I, I watched... Digimon on, uh, what, Fox Kids and stuff. I saw the movie in theaters. I was, like, I was all in on, on Digimon, um, for, for all that. What am I gonna do with the Ace Toys figures? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, what's up, Paul? How's it going? Yeah, I genuinely... Also, with these sort of things, you should should have got one and not the whole team. I think my problem is... If I'm gonna get it, like, I want to collect. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, man. You got a full art Metagross V. That is a really cool looking card. Nice. That is awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, I just, with those types of cards, I'm in general, like, I want to collect, you know, the whole set. Um... So, yeah, the, I don't know. I guess I just, I immediately thought, like, oh, Hot Toy. It's like a Power Rangers Hot Toys figure. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Of course I'm going to want that. And I, I didn't think it all the way through. So it's partially my fault, but I guess you live and you learn.
which Pokemon do I use the most uh, in some Super Smash Bros? I don't really use Pokemon too much in Super Smash Bros. Which one do I use the most? Um, That's a good question. Maybe Pokemon Trainer? I, I really don't use the Pokemon that much in, in Smash Bros. Uh, Trent says, you like Star Wars, right? You should collect the Black Series action figures. I... I have a, a couple. I, I don't try and collect a lot of them, um, but there are certain ones that I have. Like, I have um, General Grievous. I have uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, I have uh, the Mandalorian and the Child. Um, I got uh, gifted from Hasbro the uh, Bo-Katan figure, and I actually just ordered, and it arrived... Uh, Yesterday or today, it's sitting upstairs in the box still. Uh, Moff Gideon. So so there's some that I buy. I'm just not trying to collect a lot of them because it's a lot to collect. Um, yeah, so I, I get a few of them. I get a few. What Pokemon's my favorite? Paul, I would have to say Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is super cute, super cool with the flame on his back. Just all around awesome. Do I have new Pokemon Snap? I do. I, um, you know, without giving spoilers, you know, to people playing or anything, I'm on the second location in the game. Um, so I'm not that far in. But I'm enjoying it. I am definitely enjoying it. Oh, we got a Blissey V card right there. That is a Blissey, right? Wait, doesn't Blissey evolve from... I'm confused. Doesn't Blissey evolve from Chansey? But there's no evolution? Or you can't evolve into V Pokemon? I don't know. Right? Am I, am I, am I getting confused here? How is Blissey a base Pokemon? That is Blissey, though, right? Because of the extra... Yeah, that's not Chansey. That's that's a little confusing to me. I don't know. Although, actually, wait. It's not confusing. Because you have Metagross V. But wait. Did I... Am I just realizing that now? Can you place this down without evolving from it? I guess you don't need to evolve into Metagross. Am I just realizing that now that they're doing that? Have I have I not noticed that before? That they're, the V Pokemon don't have evolves from anything wow okay interesting I, I guess i just didn't notice that before is that a new thing or has that been happening all along am i just that clueless because <laughs> i haven't played with a lot of these cards in a while you know i just collect them so i, I haven't really paid attention in terms of the rules but um huh interesting So to everybody just joining, I, I mentioned at the beginning, I started a, a Discord server recently. So uh, if you want to get on and, and talk to me and, you know, find out what videos are coming up and all that kind of stuff, uh, go to theworldofha.com. Theworldofha.com will take you to the Discord server. <gasps> Whoa, we got a Celebi VMAX. Check that out. That is a great looking card. Beautiful card right there. Ooh, look at that. Celebi VMAX. Oh, man. This has been a great box so far. I, that's what I love about the Japanese cards is they have great pull rates. And the quality of the cards is, is better, too. Like, it's just all around all good. Uh, oh, I'm seeing some notifications. Quartz Tube on the Discord says, joined from your stream. Welcome. Uh, if you all do join the Discord, make sure to go into the introductions channel. And let me know about yourself, and especially if your username is different on YouTube versus Discord, please let me know, like, hey, I am so-and-so on YouTube. That way I kind of know who is who. Um, so definitely uh, let me know. Galarian Weezing. 
Uh, nice hit. I've got to pull the trigger and order these boxes. The Japanese boxes are, are so fun. They, they really are. I, you know, Plaza Japan uh, is is a reliable place that I've I've ordered like most of the Japanese Pokemon cards I've gotten, you know, over the last few months, years has, has been from Plaza Japan. Um, <clears throat> I saw your review of the Darth Maul lightsaber. I'm slowly making a custom lightsaber from parts at Home Depot. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, that kind of stuff, guys, like... I'd love to see pictures of that kind of stuff, like, posted in the Discord in the general, you know, section. Like, just let me know, you know, if you're, you know, if you see something in a review and you, you know, you know, collect the same thing or, like you said, you're building a lightsaber of your own. Like, I'd love to see that stuff in the Discord. I think that's really, really cool. Speaking of the Discord, Patrol Gaming, what's up, man? He's joined the Discord as well, so shout out to him. Uh, I just joined Discord. I'm Quartz. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. And I love that your username matches uh the discord so that makes my life easier uh so thank you for for joining look forward to uh talking to you more over there <coughs> and i'm still learning with discord you know it's a very basic you know channel right now i'm sure it'll grow over time i'm, I'm kind of learning all the ins and outs of it um, Kecleon. So, so far this box has been pretty good. What are my hopes for E3? I don't know if I have any big specific hopes. I mean, I'd love to see more of Breath of the Wild 2, but I, I honestly feel like Breath of the Wild 2 is going to launch alongside the Switch Pro March next year. That That's my theory. So I think we might see more of Breath of the Wild 2, but I don't think it's, you know, going to come out soon. I would love another Mario Kart. Um, I'm sure we'll get another Smash Bros. character reveal. Um, I don't know. Beyond that, I'm just kind of like open to seeing whatever else comes, you know? I don't think I have any like specific big wants. And Celebi V. Oh, look at that background too. That's a really cool uh, card as well. Takes a while to get Discord where you want to have had mine for three years and still updating and changing it. Oh, man. Yeah, I feel like, you know, there's all these, like, bots you can add, all these, like, permissions and things you can set. There's just a bunch of stuff there. So I, I try to keep it simple, and then, like, as it grows, we'll see what what I need, you know, from it, I guess. Um, but for now, keep it simple, keep it easy, you know. Uh, what's up, David? Uh... Am I going to get the Marvel Legends Falcon Wing Build-A-Figure? Yes, I have the entire wave pre-ordered. Uh, all the figures look great anyways. And then, of course, getting the wings for Captain America is awesome. So got to do that. Gengar, what's up? What's up? Do I use Pyra and Mithra in Smash Bros? Not really. Um... Yeah, I guess I guess not really. Uh, what's up, David? The family is doing well, thank you. Um, yeah, my wife's upstairs resting since uh, we didn't get too much sleep last night. Uh, my parents are looking after Idris and uh, just kind of hanging out, you know? Such is life. Got a new uh, TV as well in the family room. New uh, 4K TV, 120 hertz, refresh rates, Dolby Vision, HDR, all the good stuff. So I've been playing Fortnite uh, on the Series X uh, in 120 FPS, and it has been glorious. I feel like I'm playing better than ever um, because of that as well. I did not open this pack very well. Um... So yeah, it's been fun. Uh, thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog's 30th anniversary? Um, congrats, I guess. I don't know. I was never like a huge, huge Sonic fan. Oh, this card right there is kind of bent a little. Uh, you know, I've played a couple games here and there. Sonic's fun. Um, you know, and I look forward to seeing what else they release. Uh, most Sonic games I don't end up buying. Um, but we'll see. 
I did enjoy the movie though. 120 FPS, it's almost cheating, mate. Uh, you know, what can I say? I hover be between playing on the Nintendo Switch handheld uh, and then going on my Series X on the, the TV in 120 FPS. And uh, it's, it's like a night and day difference. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Cool artwork, man. These sets have just gotten better and better with, with such awesome artwork. Do I watch Jeopardy? Um, I don't really watch Jeopardy that much. I know they are doing the guest host thing, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just... Um, it's not bad. I, I actually did watch it for the first time in a long time, like a week or two ago. I saw, like, a part of an episode. Um, but, uh, you know, that's about it. I, I like Wheel of Fortune a bit more. But even that, I don't really watch. Um, I don't really watch much TV, except for, like... So, when it comes to TV, I'll record on the DVR, like, Power Rangers, so that's how I'll watch that. But everything else I watch on, like, streaming services. Uh, the CW, you know, Arrowverse shows, shows I watch on the CW app. Uh, Walking Dead I watch on the AMC app. Um, you know, like, all my other stuff I watch there. I don't really watch, the t like, TV much. Zara Aura, that's right. Thank you, Gabriel. Forgot about that. Uh, we don't get Jeopardy in Australia. I've only seen it in movies. Oh, that's interesting. Y'all don't really do uh, the trivia thing that much, I guess. <laughs> no, that's that's cool. I'm sure you all have like other types of, you know, game shows and things that um, are more popular where you are. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm spending some time on ETH with you all to kind of hang out and open some Pokemon cards and have some fun. Oh, check that out. We got the uh, the V Pokemon of uh, the the. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm blank. You guys told me the name. The, that one, the ghost horse thing. <laughs> um, whatever it is, uh, that looks really cool. So we got the V Max in the first pack, and we got the V as well. Um, which is, re which is really, really neat. The other thing that I found with the Japanese boxes, and, and don't quote me on this. Don't quote me on this. Um, I don't think you get any duplicates of V and V Max cards in a box. Like, if you buy random booster packs, yeah, you could. But if you just buy a box, I don't think I have ever gotten... A duplicate. I only get duplicates if I get more than one box. So that's where the boxes are just awesome value, uh, in my opinion. We do Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and the Weakest Link. Not that I watch any TV. Ah, uh, yeah. Those those are good ones, too. I Again, I don't really watch much either, but Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is a good one. I remember the Weakest Link. That I don't think that comes on TV anymore. Uh, I mean, I might be wrong, but it used to here. Um, and that was, that was interesting. Um... Ampharos. Spectrier, that's right, Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, what did I think of the Falcon and Winter Soldier last episode? I enjoyed it. I did. All right, we got the last booster pack here for the Spectrier, you know, Jet Black Poltergeist box. And then we have G G Glacier, or, right? Is the G Glacierier? <laughs> However you pronounce it for that one. For the Silver Lance box. And there we go. So, to recap from the box. Uh, look at the artwork, man. Look at the artwork here. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so, you do get at least like one um, super rare at least. Or I guess it would be a, uh, a secret rare in the Japanese set. 77 out of 70. Um awesome box great stuff so with that being said now we have the silver lance box Ooh, let's see if we can get the v and v max for this guy and whatever else is inside 
I think the next Japanese set is called Eevee Heroes, I believe. Uh, and I think it has like all the evolutions and stuff. It looks like a really cool set. And I would love to try and collect all the evolutions. Um, but I think from what I saw, it's like sold out everywhere. Like all the pre-orders and stuff. Like, um, So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my hands on that. Uh, I mean, if I can, then I, I certainly will try. Um, but, you know, it seems like it might be a little difficult. All right, let's see if we got some first pack magic here as well. What is my favorite uh, evolved form of Eevee? Uh, and am I gonna see Loki on Disney Plus? So yes, I will see Loki on Disney Plus, absolutely. Can't wait. Favorite Eevee Lucian? Um, that's a good question. I don't know that I have a favorite. Um, who's my favorite? I think maybe Espeon, I think. Uh, I don't collect Pokemon or even watch it, but I find your pack openings fascinating. Thanks, man. Um, I There's something about, like, you know, I, I get what you mean, because there's things that I watch sometimes that, like, I'm not really interested in collecting, but it's just, it's interesting to see, like, just the artwork on these things, and, like, there's also a bit of a thrill, I feel like, to seeing if you get something rare, and, um, and even if you don't understand what's rare or not, like, you know, if I freak out or something, like, you'll get it. And you can see the cards, like, shinier and stuff, you know? So it's, like, there, there's something kind of fun about, like, the randomness and, uh, of these boxes. And you just don't know what you're going to get. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Dumb Lolan, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, we got a V card of, is that Thunderous? or La I know there's Landorus, Thunderous, and there's another one I forget the name of. Whatever it is, um, there it is right there. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, so to anybody just joining, by the way, I'll say it again. I started a Discord server. Uh, so if you're interested in joining... Uh, where we can all kind of hang out, and also I'll keep you all updated on what videos are coming and all that good stuff. Uh, Tornadus, that's what it is, Gabriel. Thank you. Um, yeah, so my Discord server, if you want to join, just go to theworldofha.com. I made it nice and easy. That redirects you right to the Discord server. Invite theworldofha.com. Lapras. Love that artwork. Hey. Okay. The good and bad of collecting Japanese cards is, like, one, it's fun, right? Because, like, you get the, the newest cards, you know, before they're in America, and it, it's it's really cool looking. Japanese cards are such great quality as well. Um, I, I wish I could understand the cards, so that's the downside. But then when the English sets come out, um, the uh, I feel like the cards aren't as exciting because I've kind of already seen them in Japanese, right? So, so they're just not as exciting. And also the English sets tend to combine a couple Japanese sets and their pull rates are worse. So it's harder to collect certain cards. Um, I, if I had to pick between the two, in general, I would prefer, like if, if I could get, you know, one or the other of a certain Pokemon card, English or Japanese, I would get English because I understand English, right? Like, um, and in general, I think English cards tend to be a little bit more valuable because they're a little harder to get. Um, but they're harder to get, right? Like they're just, it's, it's more fun to open in, open the Japanese boxes, but I prefer collecting English cards. So I'm kind of like stuck in having to do both in a way. So the Japanese ones are fun because you're seeing the cards for the first time and it's really exciting. And then the English ones can be very hit or miss. <gasps> Ooh, check that out. Yo, look at that VMAX, man. Nice. That is such a great looking card. See, this is what I mean with the Japanese sets. Like you open these up, you're like, whoa, what is this card? It's like seeing it for the first time. Um, and then the English stuff, it's very hit or miss because my unboxings, I could either open up like junk and there's nothing good, or I can open up some really big pulls as well. 
Uh, I heard the Japanese cards have better settings. Not sure if that's what it's called for better grading. Absolutely, Patrol Gaming, you're totally right. I, there's different... Um, so... There, there's different things like for for grading. There's like the whitening on the cor on the edges. There's like the corners. There's the centering of the cards. So like the borders are even on all of them. And 100% Japanese cards absolutely have better quality, especially the centering and all that, all across the board. The English cards terrible. There are these uh, certain Pokemon cards called Amazing Rares that have this kind of like rainbowish background, and. Every single English one that I've gotten has had terrible centering. Just terrible. Um, so it, it, that's that's what I mean by the Japanese cards are better quality. One, I like the background here more because it's kind of cool. I also like the, the gray, you know, border instead of the yellow. And on holographic cards, you get the, uh, the, the hollow silver, uh, you know, border as well, right? So I just feel like Japanese cards are, are better quality, but... You know, I prefer the English because I actually understand it and I can use it in the card game and, and that sort of thing. So it's it's a, uh, I guess you know ultimately if I get if I do both, you kind of get the best of both worlds. Like I can, I get to experience the new cards and then I get to try and collect, you know the, the big ones on the English sets like the Charizards and whatever else people want to get. Cool looking energy. All right. There's also supposed to be a big Pokemon 25th anniversary card set later this year, like in the fall. So I'm very curious about that and what that's going to look like because you just know that's going to be sold out. Just like Hidden Fates and then Champion's Path and Shining Fates, all those special sets. Ooh, there we go. Uh, all those special sets are, like, always completely sold out. So you just know the big 25th anniversary thing is going to be sold out. I mean, the, the 25th anniversary, uh, like, McDonald's, you know, Pokemon card stuff, all those things, like, were, like, people were going crazy over those. There's there's a lot of stuff, you know? Thoughts on Kira Major and who is your favorite? So I will say I did not finish Kira Major. I still have... I don't know how many, 10, 15 episodes or something. I, I can't remember where I left off. Um, Purloin, thank you. That's right. I was I was, playing, I was like Nyeis something, but I want to say that's a different Pokemon or maybe a Japanese name or something too. I don't know. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I'm getting so distracted. Oh, Cure Major. Yeah, I need, to, I need to finish it. But so far, my favorite... Oh, gosh, I don't even know. Um, I, I really am not sure which one is, is my favorite. Oh, things are flashing here. Uh, does that mean there's a super chat? Somebody did a super chat. Awesome Adam from 2099. Of course it's Adam. Of course it is, man. You did awesome review yesterday, Hassan. Thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate that. Uh, always in here, Adam with the super chat. Thank you, man. That's super, super cool. I appreciate that. I always forget that I have that thing set up and then my lights freak out. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, what's going on? Um, <laughs> that's so cool. I saw the photo of your son in Discord. He looks just like you. They grow up so quickly. My son just turned 20. Yikes. Dude, I, you know... Um, oh, whoa, dude, look at that VMAX. That's so cool. Uh, great, great card. Um, the, uh, I, I cannot believe, man, that you have a 20 year old, like you do not look like you would have a 20 year old at all. Um, I just want to say that, man, like that's insane to me. Um, but, uh, so cool yeah i he already he's almost you know he'll be six months next next week uh inshallah and, and man i just he already i go back and look at photos from like a couple months ago and it already um just has changed so much it's it's insane it's insane
The Poke Zone. What's up? Cool packs. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know. See if we get the goods. I've already gotten you know two V Maxes. I think really now I'm just looking for whatever the uh, you know uh, super rare, hyper rare, whatever is gonna be. Porygon two. Thank you, Search. I appreciate that. I think every box is guaranteed one, I believe. So we'll see what happens. In the other box, the Jet Black Poltergeist box, I got the Metagross. Uh, yeah, so to anybody joining in the Jet Black Poltergeist box, this is what I got. Celebi VMAX looks great. This is the... Uh, um, Secret Rare, 77 out of 70, which is really cool. And so far, just to recap, this is what I've gotten in the Silver Lance box. So two VMAXs right there already. So it's been, it's been great. It's been really great. The Japanese boxes are so good because you do not get, I believe, any duplicates in a box, um, which, is, which is great. The pull rates are, are so much better than the American sets, for sure. It is a fun set. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, this is a cool one. Tauros. And if any of you have any cool cards as well, share them in, in uh, my Discord. Um, so go to theworldofha.com and, and check it out. I'm thinking of buying the Japanese version of Team Up. Oh, cool. Yeah, those were fun sets. I loved when they did the, the Team Up cards. There were some really cool pairings in, uh, in those cards. That was fun. Oh, here we go. Here is the Secret Rare 76 out of 70 for this set right here. This is a, what is it, Sandaconda, I think is, is what it's called, right? Um, I always get confused between this and the evolution or pre-evolution, um, but uh, this was a cool Pokemon. I used this a decent bit in the in the game. Is this Sandaconda or is that the the other one? Um, but that looks really cool. Look at the background hollow foil pattern. That's cool. There we go. Nice. Well, let's see if we get anything else good. I feel like that probably is going to be it, but you never know. There might be another, you know, V Pokemon or something else in there. Um, some other surprise. Uh, also, um, I you know, I miss when the sets... There's certain sets in, in Japanese. I don't think these sets have it. The certain sets that have the God Packs. Um, and... Uh, I pulled a God Pack on my channel a while ago. Um, so it, uh, that was insane. I did that on a live stream as well. I did that on a live stream. Can I leave a comment about my channel? Nothing too big. Uh, yeah, post right now on, on the on the YouTube right here. Post a, post a comment. Uh, go for it. Sandaconda, that was, right? Okay. And, oh, yo, we got a Galarian Rapidash in here. I didn't know that was in the set. Oh, I love Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash. That's really, really cool. Oh, wait, now I need a Galarian Ponyta card. Did I? I don't think I got one. Oh, man. I love that Pokemon. All right, well, now I'm on the hunt for a Galarian Ponyta. <laughs> did I hear about the CDC guidance on masks? I did. Um, I'm sure some people will abuse that, as always. Um, but in general, you know, it seems like things are trending positively, and I hope uh, it continues to do so. So that's good. All 
All right, now I need my Galarian Ponyta in here. My girl loves that card. Nice. Oh, I love when they do like the little clay things. They're kind of cool. Teddy Ursa. Nice. Oh, my legs are... When you sit on your, your legs for a while, it's... It's painful. Oh, we got the V uh, version of gl gl Glacier... -er, or whatever the thing is called. Uh, gl Glacier... -er. Uh... That's really cool. That is really, really cool. So we got the V and the uh, the VMAX here. Is there a version of the card that has that artwork? Because that's a little different than these two cards. I wonder if there's an alternate art or something of that, because that one looks cool too. I mean, I also like these ones too. Um, sweet, so I got in, in both boxes, I got the V and VMAX of the, the main Pokemon in the in the set. So that's always fun. I, I, you, you aren't guaranteed that with the American ones, but in the Japanese ones, I feel like you pretty much are, uh, which is just awesome. Score bunny, like three alts. That's their big popular thing they're doing now is the alternate artwork. Which honestly, the alternate artwork they're doing is gorgeous for the most part. Most of these cards that I've seen, like with the Galarian birds in the last set. Um, so I'm I'm here for it. Hard to find cards around my way. Good luck on the Poke Hunt, everyone. Yeah. So if anybody, these Japanese cards that I bought, I most of the time I buy my Japanese cards from Plaza Japan. So that's the website. If anyone is interested, um, not a sponsorship or anything. I just genuinely that's just the place that I've always bought from and. They've been pretty reliable and pretty quick shipping and all that good stuff. For the English cards, I mean, besides buying in stores, I, I usually order uh, online from Potomac Distribution. Um, that's kind of the, the place I end up getting the English cards, mostly because um, they're actually their their warehouse is actually local to me, so I don't even have to pay for shipping. If I do shipping, it comes like the next day, um, or I can just go pick it up or whatever too. So that also has been pretty great. But obviously their prices are going to vary for the hard-to-find sets. Oh, that's a really cool-looking card. I love that background there. That's really cool. Porygon Z. Um, so yeah, I just go do pickup there for Potomac Distribution. Um, otherwise, you can order online too. Uh, they'll ship it anywhere. But um, for me, it helps out because uh, I don't have to pay for shipping. That's for the American cards. For the Japanese cards, I obviously have to order. I have to import them since I am I'm located in Virginia, so it's uh kind of far from Japan. Got to import it, but Plaza Japan's pretty quick. Got to say. Final booster pack here, by the way. This is it. Am I going to get my Galarian Ponyta? Let's find out. Not a ponyta. 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 Well, no ponyta there. But you know what? Still, we got some great cards um, in the set as well. Just all around. Um, great, great pulls. Check that out. So I highly recommend these sets. I think these are really, really fun. Um, as you can see, if, if you like any of, uh, any of these cards, super, super cool. Oh, hey, I saw cast form. Yeah, cast forms in the set. Um, great stuff here. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, great pull rates on this set as well. Like I said, no, no duplicates in a box. You know, obviously if you get more than one box, you're going to get some duplicates, but otherwise no duplicates. I just got one box of each and I got... 
you know, pretty much everything I wanted. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, before I sign off, I'm just going to swap the camera and just talk with you all for a bit. So what's up, everyone? So for those new to the channel, welcome. My name is Hassan. Uh, I've been doing YouTube since 2006, 2004, 2006. I think it was 2006. I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been like 15 years or something. I don't even know. Uh, and uh, it's been super, super cool. Um, I just started a Discord server recently uh, to kind of chat with you all, let you all know what's going on. Um, theworldofha.com. Just go to the website that takes you to my Discord channel, theworldofha.com. Uh, the World of Ha, for those that don't know, the, the H-A are my initials, Hassan Ahmad. So the world of Hassan Ahmad, it's everything that interests me, whether that's Power Rangers, Pokemon, uh, video games, uh, Marvel stuff, uh, just all sorts of things. Uh, it's just kind of a, a place to hang out and have fun. Uh, and I'm getting real close to 200,000 subscribers, which is super, super cool. So thank you all for that. And uh, yeah, today, um, you know, I just wanted to hop on, open up some Pokemon cards and hang out. Uh, things in this channel have been a little slow lately because I do have, next week will be uh, almost, uh, uh, he'll be almost six months old. I have a six month old uh, son named Idris. And uh, so he, he takes up most of my time and I love him so much. It's, it's super, super special. Um, but, uh, but I still continue YouTube just for fun. I have a full-time job separately. YouTube is just a, a side thing that I do for fun because I'm a collector and I enjoy all these things. This is, let me show you a little bit of my collection if you're new to the channel. This, these are, these are things that I collect. Power Rangers and other, you know, all sorts of stuff right here. Um, lots of things there, as you can see. And, and that's what's in storage. Um, but if we come out over here, you can see, I'll swap the camera. We got a, a new TV recently, so the box is here. Um, but this is, this is some of my collection here. Uh, all sorts of Super Mario Legos and other just accessories and things. Um, all sorts of good stuff. Gaming consoles, um, Nintendo Switch and other gaming controllers, movies and games, a couple Funko Pop things. Uh, you know, this is kind of some Power Rangers display shelves uh, of stuff. Uh, some um, Power Rangers comics and other books as well. A little bit of Legos and Star Wars and Amiibo collections, the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo, other Amiibo uh, Kira Major, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, still a child at heart, 100%, uh, 31 years old, have a child of my own, but I'm still a child at heart, totally, for sure. So, um, yeah, man, that's really, um, that's really what it is. So, hopefully you all check out the Discord. I'd love to know more about you. If you go on the Discord, post in the introductions, and, uh, let me know about yourself. I'd love to, to know more about you. Uh, and I'll continue to, to make more live streams and videos for you all, and should be fun. Uh, David, can we see Idris? On YouTube, uh, not quite yet. Once he's a bit older, maybe. Um, but, you know, check out Discord, and you might see uh, a photo or two, um, if you're interested as well. So um, there's that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go upstairs and go uh, um, check on him now as well. Uh, since he's with my parents, but take care, everyone. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.